Hello everyone, today we are talking more Game of Thrones and today I'm going to explain what the Horn of Winter is and the theories that surround it. The Horn of Winter is not really mentioned in the TV show, but in the books it was first mentioned in the third book, A Storm of Swords. Mance Raider was looking for it because it is said that it can destroy the wall. The history behind the Horn of Winter, or also known as the Horn of Joramin, is that the Horn has magical powers and was blown by Joramin, a wildling king beyond the wall. And when he blew the Horn, he woke giants from the earth. Once again, in the books, Mance claimed to have found the Horn and showed it to John when they were negotiating terms of surrender. The Horn Mance showed John was 8 feet long. And it was so wide at the mouth that John could put his arm inside up to the elbow. It is black in color with gold bands that are graven with runes of the first men. At first John thinks that the bands are bronze. When he moves closer he realizes that the bands are made of gold, old gold, and more brown than yellow. It is said to be a thousand years old. After Stannis' arrival at the wall, he captures the horn. When they burn Mance at the stake, actually rattle shirt in the books, they burn the horn with him. But after the proceedings, Tormund told Jon that it was a fake, that they never actually found the horn. That the horn they found was in a giant's grave. Now this is where the theories start coming into play. One of the more well-known theories is that the horn Sam found with the dragonglass is the Horn of Winter. The evidence that supports this theory is that hiding the true horn with plenty of dragon glass would prevent White Walkers from finding it and using it to bring down the wall. Also, the Fists of the First Men being relatively close to the wall, any stronghold known to the Watch is a sensible place for a former Watchman to have hidden an artifact of great power. More evidence that supports this theory is that the old war horn is quite unremarkable in appearance. But there is no reason why the real horn should be anything large and extravagant. The mythical description may have been overlaid and embellished over the years. Evidence against this is that the horn does not match the mythical description being 8 feet long and no whites or others paid any special attention to the horn when they encountered Sam. Not even the lone other that Sam came face to face with, whom he slew with an obsidian dagger. Personally, I think the horn Sam found is the horn of winter. It would make sense to me, and I think the evidence points to it being the horn of winter. Also, the series is called A Song of Ice and Fire. There's two magical horns, Dragonbinder and the Horn of Winter. It would make sense that the two would be opposites of each other. Dragonbinder being grand and huge, and the Horn of Winter being more subtle and simple. One that controls fire, and one controlling ice. Now once again I do think the horn Sam found is the horn of winter but the question is how is it going to come into play? Because as Benjen Stark said, The wall is not just ice and stone. Ancient spells were carved into its foundations. Strong magic to protect men from what lies beyond. And while it stands, the dead cannot pass. I cannot pass. So without someone blowing the horn, how are the whites supposed to get across? It's the one thing that troubles me because the horn is on the other side of the wall currently. So if one of the brothers of the Night's Watch blows the horn or throws it off the wall for some odd reason and the Night's King finds it, that's probably not how it's going to happen, but it's the only thing I can think of. It either being an accident or the horn falling into the wrong hands. So what do you think? Is the horn Sam found the horn of winter? Will the wall come down next season, or do you think something else? Leave it down in the comments below, and if you want more Game of Thrones content, please subscribe, and as always, have an awesome day.